we get the question a lot of the times, can we use a peel test to be able to determine our part's integrity? It really comes down to the person that designed that part that's going to be able to tell you that information. And so I always tell customers, go back to the person that designed that part and let them tell you where the resistance welds are to be at, how many you're supposed to have on there, and what type of test method do they require for you to be able to know is the part going to be strong enough. They also have to inform you what information do you need from that test. Are you checking the diameter of the nugget? Are you doing a torsion or twisting test? Are you doing a peel test? Or are you doing a, a tension test by pulling the part apart? You need to be able to determine what test is needed from the designer of that part. But back to the peel test. The peel test is normally used because it's a simple test that you can do. You have to be able to equate that peel test to what that part's going to be administered as far as the stresses in real life. Because a peel test is normally just going to tell you is the weld nugget good? Did we pull parent material? But now are you going to check the diameter of that nugget that you pulled for a certain diameter sizing of that nugget? Or what's the reason that you're doing a peel test? What are you looking for? So there is no easy answer. Peel tests are simple, but you need to be able to verify what test is required. There's probably 10 different tests that you can do for a typical spot weld, and they're all different, and they're all accredited as recommended tests, but it'll be up to you to determine which one best suits your needs.